So as we get into the colder season, what we want to think about is staying ahead of our heating cost. Remember that your bills are going to be about a month behind, so the usage that you incur this month will be impact your bill for next month. Some of the key things that we can do to our home to make it more energy efficient is to get a handle on how much air infiltration that we have into our home. Look for those areas where we have water or electrical lines coming into our house. We want to check around our doors and windows to make sure that they close tightly. We also want to look for areas around our registers, our vents, that air can be seeping in from the cold attic or the crawl space. Also, we want to take a look at our thermostat settings to make sure that they're set correctly. The recommended thermostat setting in the winter is 68 degrees. You can easily save energy by adjusting the thermostat down 5 to 10 degrees when you're away from home or at night. To make these savings easier, install a programmable or smart thermostat. Typically, we see about 14% of your bill is going to be impacted by your water heater. Adjust your thermostat on your water heater to the medium or low setting so that your water temperature is about 125 degrees. This will lower the amount of runtime that your water heater has to operate and lower your utility bills. Don't forget that the maintenance on your heating and cooling system is very important. Check your filters and change those twice for each heating and cooling season. Make sure that you get a checkup on your heating and cooling system at least every other year. By adding more insulation to your attic, you can control your heating and cooling costs year round. You can find details at cityutilities.net on our rebate programs for programmable and smart thermostats, insulation upgrades, and energy efficient heating and cooling systems.